Hey guys, welcome back to some more Xenogears. Alrighty, so <laughs> I pretty well got myself ready here. Oh my goodness. I don't know this might be the finale. We'll see. It, <laughs> it all depends on how this Deus fight goes. So let's see here. I got myself all uh, healed up and everything. So that's out of the way. I've got myself equipped to what I want. Um, yeah. I'm just double checking here. Because I'm going into the main boss with uh, Faye, Satan, and Emeralda. And I'm probably going to do the other four, like, the other four core things with the other characters. Because I'm pretty sure we have to fight those before Dave's. So. Um, Alright. Let me see. Um, I don't know. Should Maybe I should get rid of one power magic and give her, like, the GNRS 50. Because I have... Fenrir and Xenogears have a GNRS 50, but... If I'm only using Aether attacks... Wait. <laughs> Do they stack? Oh my god, they stack. So I can have like two of these things on Xenogears. I think I'm gonna do that. Leave the G Z charger. Um... Oh boy. I'm gonna leave it just like this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little. I'm not like. <laughs> I'm not like nervous for this, but. Oh man, I definitely. Oh my god. I haven't- I've never beaten this fight before, so this is all- this is all new for me. Uh, first and last. Let's see. Alright, I guess there's no time like the present. Hold on, I want to make sure my gear health is all good. Alright, we're good. Let's go! Final fucking boss. Let's uh let's do this. It's, it's been a long fucking game, guys. This is It's all coming to a close. Either this episode or the next episode. I don't know how long this is gonna bloody take, but Oh boy. I'm feeling it, that's for sure. I'm definitely feeling it. I'm like Shulk right now. Oh, here's the hole that Ramses blew up last time, in one of my episodes. Oh, sh oh, damn! Ah, oh, here's where that fucking here's where the shit went down with Ellie and Mion. Yeah, I want to jump inside. Oh my god, it's exciting! <laughs> look at- Oh my god, look at this! Oh, I remember this. This is just... Oh boy. This is Dave's. What are those four orbs spinning around it? It seems as if the power of those four things is supporting the center. So that means that the big thing in the middle of the is the core of Dave's. Probably. Who cares about those orbs? Let's just crush the core. Striking directly at the center rather than using fuel unnecessarily. That is one strategy, but I believe another plan of attack would be to defeat its surroundings first. If we decide to attack the supporting orbs first, then it might be wise to leave the battles up to us. We should be able to do something about them without using up Faye's power. Oh god. That'll allow him to use the full power of Xenogears to defeat Dave's. And yes, of course, to save Ellie. Whether we do a direct strike to the core or take down the supports first, I guess that is best left up to Faye to decide. Thanks, everyone. To attack Deus directly or take out its supports first. I wonder which is best. Oh, God. <laughs> well, taking out the four cores would probably make it easier, but... Fuck. <laughs> I'm thinking. Oh, man. Maybe I should... Yeah, fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. 
I, I want to try it. Fuck the course. We're going straight for motherfucking Dave's. I ain't got time for this shit. Let's see. If I die, then we go and do the course. But I gotta try, right? I gotta try first. Full power. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, now, now I'm really nervous. Oh, fuck. Here we go. I just want to see what this guy's all about at full power. Okay. Okay. I guess let's just fucking start. Emeralda. This music is so epic, guys. Oh my god. Okay, Satan. Oh, Faye, I want him to be in hyper mode. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, nice. Oh god, what's he gonna do to us? Build that attack level up. Oh, I think this is going to go nicely. Oh, I think I got this. I think all of my <laughs> equipment is uh, helping me out here. Do that again. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, what are those? I don't like that. What's he gonna do? Oh my god. Oh, zero? Oh, nice. Oh, that- oh. That's not good. Nice faith. Oh, come on, guys. We got this. We got this. Oh, shit. I don't have the econometer. Oh, no. Get that EP back up. Oh my god, okay, so I'm just gonna keep using ether attacks on this guy. Oh man. Let's use the water one. Is it what? Did I do it? Was that it? Was that it? What? Was I that overpowered? No way. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting it to be over. Get the fuck out of here, Deus. I did it. Oh my goodness. What? I thought I was gonna have to take out the four cores. I was just kind of fucking around. <laughs> I was almost expecting to die during that part. I can't believe I did it. 
And it wasn't even that bad. Were those GNRS 50s really that, like, <laughs> what? What happened? Hey, that's a good question, Faye. What the fuck just happened? My first playthrough, I had to quit the game because that boss was so hard. And I guess I was properly equipped this time. Wow. The difference that a couple pieces of equipment and a couple levels can make in this game. Wow. Wow. What happened? My gear won't budge anymore. The Zohar modifier ceased functioning. That is probably the reason why our gears cannot move anymore. Hold on, I'm going to try and get this focused. Every time there's a black background, the faces don't show very well, so <laughs> you guys might have to just put up with that. Like you have been the whole, <laughs> the whole series. <laughs> there's only a slight energy response coming from the core now. What about Ellie? What's happening to her inside of that thing? The Deus systems bind on her should have worn off now. So why aren't we getting any kind of response? You don't think we hurt her in that battle, too. Hey, calm down. The sensors are picking up a response from a life form within Deus. It is probably Ellie, so do not worry. I believe she is okay. Ellie! Can you hear me, Ellie? Deus is no longer active. It's all over now. So come out of there. Show me your face. Ellie! Ellie! What? What the? What's happening? Bart, what is happening? Doc, what's going on? What's wrong? Guys, I have a very foggy memory when it comes to this part, because I just watched the finale on YouTube <laughs> on my first playthrough, so this is kind of... Not, not like, blind, but, like, this is really fresh for me. I am now detecting a tremendous amount of energy coming from within days. It seems as if something that was sealed up till now has suddenly been freed and is growing enormously. It couldn't be the wave existence. The wave existence? <laughs> Bart! Where have you been? You have no idea what Faye has seen. <laughs> That's gotta be it. The wave existence was just freed from its cage of fleshly existence in Zohar. It's probably attempting to return to the higher dimension that it originally came from. Which means, this is the after effect of the dimensional shift? What do you mean, after effect? It is like a shockwave that is induced by the dimensional displacement. But so much energy? If this much energy is unleashing here now... If so much energy is unleashed, then what will happen, Doc? Tell us. Then this planet will be annihilated. These numbers indicate that it has more than enough energy to take out a whole planet. What you mean? You can't be serious. We all fought so hard only to see this happen? Isn't there anything we can do? Can't we stop the after effect? Unfortunately, there is nothing we can do. Almost all machinery, including our gears, are out of commission due to Zohar having been shut down. This time, there is nothing we can do. To put it straight, this is the end for us. This is freaking stupid. How the hell could it all end like this? What are we all fighting for up until now? The, the vibrations are intense coming. Hold on a sec. No, these vibrations are different. It has to be something else causing it. Look! Deus is... Deus is rising. What is it this time? Deus is releasing its remaining energy and is beginning to accelerate. If it continues to accelerate at this rate, it will soon leave the atmosphere. You don't think. Think what? That it's Ellie. Ellie is moving Deus. Are you sure? I'm sure of it. Ellie is trying to save us by moving Deus away from our planet. She's going to sacrifice herself. That can't be. Oh, Ellie. Can't we do anything? We can't just sit there and watch this happen, can we? Billy. <laughs> Faye. <laughs> Go after her, Faye. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, there's still something I can do. What is it, Faye? My gear still works. Without Zohar, the power source for your gear is the only gear that now remains active as mine. Oh, that's right, because the other gears won't work without the fucking ether from the fucking Zohar and the wave existence. Oh my god. Just like Deus, my gear and I made contact with Zohar. We're the only ones who can move now. I'm going to save Ellie. That is absurd. Even if you were be able to be able to catch up with Deus, you will not have enough energy to make it back. Even so... I still must go. 
Ellie's taking the whole burden upon herself. If anything happens to her, I want to be there with her. Hey, just wait a minute. You know I'm not going to stand by and let you commit double suicide if that's what you're planning. Bart, you better come back alive, you hear? Promise me, promise me you'll come back. Then I'll let you go. Thanks, Bart. I promise. I promise you that I will return with Ellie. You better. Yeah, of course. All right, then get going. But let's let him go, Satan. At this point, Faye's the only one that'll be able to bring Ellie back. There's nothing we can say or do about it. You are right. Faye, keep your promise. No matter what, Faye and Ellie, both of you, come back home. We'll be waiting for you, too. I appreciate this, Bart, and the rest of you. Well, I'd better get going now, but don't worry, I'll be back soon. I guess this will be the last journey you and I make together. I'm counting on you, partner. I love how Faye calls his gear partner now. He was so against them in the beginning of the game, and he's grown so much. Go get baby girl back, Faye! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, the music. We're back with the fucking wave existence now? Let me make sure this is focused. Where am I? <laughs> You're naked, Faye. Get some goddamn clothes on. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> That's Ellie. This must mean that I'm inside of Deus? Not exactly. Your actual body is but a physical object. It has been merely absorbed into Deus's outer shell. Only your consciousness is here. I think that's Krellian. <laughs> I'm like 90% sure that's Krellian. Of course, the girl you perceive in front of you is also not a true being. Your consciousness is merely creating her image. The wave existence. No, that's not you. Who are you? Oh shit! I think I was reading that with the wrong voice. <laughs> it can't be. Is that you, Krellian? That's right, isn't it? Krellian, it was you who did this to Ellie. The path of Sephiroth has been connected. No one can stop God from returning to his world now. Whoa, my god, the music! So what have you come here for, Lakan? I came here to take the person I love back with me. So set Ellie free. The Deus system has been destroyed. It's all over now. So instead I ask you, what are you hoping to achieve now? The time when all things started. The place- I'm- <laughs> I keep reading things in the wrong voice. The place where all things were one. I'm going to return there. What place? Before the beginning of the universe. In the indul- indulating waves of the higher dimension. All things were one. It was waves spilling out from there that created this four-dimensional universe of ours. Humankind and the souls of mankind that were born from there and merely leftovers of those spilled waves. So, you're going back there. Is that what you desired? Lakan, why such reluctance to become one with God? What attachment could you possibly have with this wretched old world? What meaning can be found in living such a short existence, hurting others, hurting yourself, grinding another down, only to inevitably die and return to dust? Why, everything we could ever desire is here. No need to be troubled by the need for love, for this place is filled with the love of God. I have not lost hope in humans as much as you have, Krellian. 
Someday, humankind will come to understand one another. I sincerely believe that. How can you be so sure? Humans will never come to understand each other. Oh fuck. <laughs> I clicked the A button too fast. You said that she is the person you love. But can you say that you even truly understand each other? All humans do is place themselves at a comfort distance from each other and call that mutual understanding, spiritual unity, or true love. But it is all lies. Man cannot associate with others without, no, without first deceiving themselves. That is the way that they were created. But, one's, but one being's ego can't determine everyone's fate. People have the right to choose their own destiny. That is why humans have the free will. And what if that will itself was predetermined? What then? Oh, what folly. Humans are just primitive life forms that have no such things as free will. God damn it, Krellian. <laughs> You're getting into some crazy fucking talk here, man. Mankind, was mer Mankind has merely been allowed to live in an imperfect state. As is. As will be. As it is for this very reason, because humans have this wretched will, or whatnot, that humans must experience sadness and loss. For someone to gain something means another must lose it. It is impossible to make humankind share limited things and affections. So I came to the conclusion that everything must be reverted back to where it all began. To go back to when it was all one. Waves. And nothing else. It is not my human's ego, it is the will of the waves. The will of God. Well that's alright too. We don't have to be perfect. Actually, being imperfect makes mankind live by helping each other. That's what being human is. That's mutual understanding. That's unity and love. I'm glad. No, I'm proud to be human. Ellie placed the feature. Or, <laughs> the feature. <laughs> Ellie placed the future, tomorrow, in our hands, based on our choice, and she is working to keep days far from our planet. She is also trying to heal your heart, you, who wants to journey all alone, to be with God. Can't you understand Ellie's feelings? Do you have to become one with God before you are able to comprehend all of this? I understand. I know her feelings, as if they were my own. Yes, she and I are one. We don't need God's help. Damn, Faye. Well then, prove it to me. Show me the, this power of humans. Show me this love that you say can make you independent of God. Oh shit, there's another fight, isn't there? Oh god, I forgot there's another fight. Oh my god, it's Miong. That's straight up Miong. <sighs> Fucking bring it. Bring it. I gotta take a sip of coffee first, but bring it. Zero. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're not dying today. Come on, Faye, let's take this fucking thing down. I can't get over this music. This music is so intense. That was a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. Get down! You got nothing on Xenogears. You have nothing on Xenogears. There's nothing you can do. 
we've won. <laughs> we've won the game. <laughs> oh my god. Ellie. Are you okay up there, baby girl? Faye. It was Krellian. Krellian released me. Krellian? Yes, I came to understand after becoming one with Krellian. His heart was so full of sadness. That is why he desired for he and I to become one with God. Because that would be the return to the beginning of everything. He told me. You should be with him. That is what he said. You see, he already knew. Yes, he already knew how I felt, how you felt. But there was nothing we or he could do. He had no choice but to go forward, even if it meant he lost all feelings, lost everything that was human. <laughs> That's the best I can get it to focus, guys. I, for all humankind's sake, there was no going back. Even looking back held too many memories, and he would have just wanted to go back, even though he couldn't. So please forgive him. Trellian loved people more than anyone else. I... I somehow knew it all along. I just knew he was really that kind of person. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I was wrong. I thought sacrificing myself in order to save others was the right thing to do. But my actions only brought sadness to all the people who I left behind. And that sadness gave birth to even more sadness. As long as I still live within you, my life is not just mine alone. Ellie, that isn't wrong. To sacrifice your, yourself for others is a noble thing, even if it were to benefit yourself. Oh, it's no problem. There will, there will always be a person healed, one or the other. Love gains its original shine only when there is an interrelationship between the giver and the receiver. It is incomplete when one or the other is missing. The two are one. It was you, Ellie, who taught me that. I believe... I believe that is what it means to be human. I can now understand the true importance of it. I don't know if it's the right answer or not, but we, but we have a lot of time to think about it. What Krellian himself was looking for all along. We will find the answer to it all ourselves. Thank you, Faye. Ellie. I'm getting goosebumps. Oh my goodness. Let's return to our planet. That light. It's the point of contact with our world. But the dimensional shift has already begun. Will we make it in time? Can you buy it? If we're together, I can.
God damn it, Krellian. You. There's no time. This place is about to be destroyed. No, there is no more God. This is no longer your planet. This is your home planet that you are now standing on. Krellian, you aren't going, are you? Since that time, I have stopped being human. I have committed so many sins that any attempt at living like a human was impossible. The only one who could have forgiven me was God. That's not true. I know they would understand. There's still plenty of time to atone for your sins. You of all people could do it. Always the peacemaker, Anakin. Perhaps that's what it means to be human. But regardless, I cannot go. It's something I've already decided. I go to walk with God. Even if there's no place left for me, upon my return. I must go now. Krillian! Actually, He envies them. Wow. Hey, it's Bart animated. <laughs> what? Waves from the explosion disrupted the ionosphere, making it impossible to get a visual. They were probably caught up in the explosion. That's a lie! <laughs> He'll come back. He promised us he would. I know it. Grown up Emerald. This game needs to be a full-on anime. Oh my goodness. I would watch it. That was beautiful. Oh my god. So many emotions. What? It's over. This song. I don't want this to be over. Oh my gosh. Yasunori Mitsuda. Wow. I'm just gonna let this play. Oh, 
Damn, there's a guitar solo. Wow. I Xenogears episode 5. 
That's right. This this was supposed to be like way more. <laughs> there was there was supposed to be way more. Wow. How do I how do I even talk? Like, oh my goodness, this is so what? I feel so many emotions right now. Like Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm genuinely dead. Every time these Xeno games in particular, every time they end, I just get so... I just get this feeling. This this complete annihilation of my soul. Because <laughs> it just... These games are so good. That ending was so good. I need some more coffee. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. This has been probably... I'm going to be honest. This was my favorite series so far on my channel. I absolutely loved every minute of this game. I got totally addicted to it. Like I did... Like I got addicted to it as if I was playing it the first time. I... I started pumping out like two, three videos a day because I just, I couldn't stop playing this game and it's over. <laughs> and now I'm dead. I don't know what, I don't know what to feel right now. I have no idea what, what the fuck I'm gonna let's play next. I really don't. I haven't really thought about it, but when I'm feeling inspired to do another game, I will do another game. I don't know what it will be, <laughs> but, wow. Oh, God. I gotta hold in all these emotions now for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What happens if I press A or start? Does it take me back? No. It's just... We're we're on we're on the end screen. This this is just it. The end. Well, guys, it has been a hundred plus episodes. <laughs> it's oh man. I guess I gotta end this fucking video somehow, right? I I don't know how to end this video. I don't want to end this video. I wanna. I I never want the series to end, but everything comes to an end. Even Xenogears. Oh. Straight up, I just need to, like, sit for a minute. I'm not ending this episode yet. <laughs> you guys are... You can fucking dip out. I ain't... There ain't too much more for me to say other than I'm just taking... I'm taking this whole adventure in right now. That was huge. Alrighty, guys, it has been a great fucking time. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this epic ass adventure. The, oh man, this, this game, it's up there, man. It's up there. It's one of the greatest games ever. Like, honestly, like top five for me, top five for me. Maybe even top three. Maybe even top three for me. But anyways, I'll see you guys whenever I see you guys. I have no idea what I plan on recording in the future, but whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll see you guys then. Thanks again. It's been a great ride. <laughs> Xeno Gears. Ah, uh, have a good one, guys. Peace.